Hi, I'm Teresa Polito, the author of Hook, Loop, and Lock, and today I'm going to show you how to lock or hook a bangle bracelet. I have had several requests for this. Um, these are really fun. You can make them out of ribbons, recycled silk, yarn, all sorts of things. But right now I want to cover what you're going to need to finish the project, and it is featured in the Hook, Loop, and Lock book, by the way. So, you will need a small pair of scissors to cut your fabric with, a locker hook, tapestry needle, and a number 13 works really well, uh, scissors to cut your canvas with, and you're going to be using the five mesh canvas. You also will need some locking medium, and for this project I highly recommend a black yarn. This is great because it'll hide in the background, and if your um, bracelet or bangle bends a bit, it won't be seen. And you also need to choose the material you'll be locker hooking with, and I chose the um, Spice Gems Recycled Sari Silk. It's really beautiful, and the colors, I think, will uh, turn out a really nice bracelet. Now, to finish your edges, to wrap your edges, you're going to need some ribbon, something that coordinates or, or even contrasts. And I have here a great selection of seam binding. They come in all these beautiful colors, and I think it's going to be fun choosing one of these for our project. Once you've cut your canvas according to the pattern or to the length and, and width you um, desire, then you're ready to frame your canvas and you want to prepare it, the canvas piece by folding over two squares on each long edge. And you cre do that by creasing a row. And you can also customize a, a bangle bracelet by wrapping it, if you're making it for yourself, by wrapping it around your hand and making sure that when you overlap by four, because that's what you need to do, that it will, your hand will fit through nicely, or the recipient's hand will fit through nicely. So once we've got that, then you have your ribbon for framing uh, threaded, and you want to start whip stitching the edges to frame the piece. And I'm going to start near the edge to show you how you overlap by four, leave about an inch tail, and just do a simple stitch, simple sort of whip stitch around the edge, making sure you cover the edge nicely. Catching that tail so that you can hide it as you go. And then as you get closer to the edge, just uh, Keep an eye out to make sure you have those four squares that are going to overlap ready. And there we have that. Then you bring the other edge around and you make sure you're overlapping both edges by four squares and you continue whip stitch stitching through both pieces of folded canvas. And you make sure your tapestry needle goes through both pieces and continue framing that edge. And you're going to do this on both sides, of course, so you have a nicely framed piece. Ah, there we go. So you continue that way until you're done, and once you've finished it, you'll end up with a piece that looks like this. It's framed on both sides, nice coverage, and you'll have two tails at the end that you will sew in later. And now we have a framed canvas ready to be locker hooked. So once you've framed your canvas into a uh, bangle frame, then we are ready to start locker hooking. And you take your locking medium, thread it through the locker hook, and grab a fabric strip or ribbon or a combination of both, whatever you'd like to use. It's fun to try different things. I'm using the recycled sari silk here. And you just start locker hooking. And you're going to locker hook in a linear fashion. And that just means you're going lengthwise, not across. And lengthwise because it'll be neater. You won't see the unfinished edges. Um, along the, the very edge of your bangle bracelet. I love using this sari silk because it has these wonderfully frayed edges. I just caught one there. 
and it adds some fun fringe. But if you don't like that look, you can always trim it beforehand or afterward. You can locker hook it first and then trim off some of the fringe so that it's not, so it's just minimal fringe. So what you'll do is continue to locker hook in this linear method until you have finished the piece and you can drop colors and add colors as you like. Sometimes I just go ahead and use the whole strip and then just change colors as I run out. But it's also fun to use smaller strips so you have fun little blocks of color and, and patches of bright metallics or bright colors interspersed. You can get really creative. If you use smaller strips or, or rather shorter strips, you end up with a lot more tails, but that's okay. You can just sew those in at the end when you're done. So this is all you do. And you continue to do that until you have filled your canvas. Here's a tip that will come in handy. And I, I like using this quick grip glue because it dries really fast. What you're going to want to do is place a nice bead, a small bead of glue along the edges. And this will help secure the edge so that it doesn't fray when you're locker hooking. You want to make sure you get plenty of glue just along the edge without covering too much of the um, adjacent square line. And you want to do this on both edges. And you can probably trim the edges to have a finer uh, finish, but this will work just fine. Just make sure you get plenty of glue along the edge to secure, because when you're locker hooking, you may inadvertently pull extra hard and unravel the edge. And that looks pretty good. So if you followed along with all of the steps, you'll be able to locker hook a really fun bangle bracelet like this one, maybe with a lot of texture and fringe or these, and you can choose your own colors and um, create something that matches something you'd like to wear. You can make them out of different kinds of materials. This is one with ribbon over, uh, it's kept a shimmery tone over fabric. Uh, and you can even recycle stuff. This is made out of a recycled t-shirt with splashes of paint and some fun fringy eyelash yarn. And this is a really fun one, actually. Or you can even choose to attach a clasp. And to do that, it's very easy. You just finish, end up folding and finishing the edges, attaching your clasp, and then you have a really nice bracelet that can be customizable to fit snugly. So there you have it. Have fun with it. And I will see you next time.